Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday afternoon, June 14th. We are looking at the SPY, IWM, and Triple Q's market profile here on Window Trader. And for a day that was forming a nice B shape, M Peary does what M Peary likes to do, and that's absolutely distort the profile explodes to an all-time high. We already have a new all-time high in N period. I know ES doesn't use that. They, uh, most of the ES traders will say N is their regular trade now is high. I use N as my overnight. We have a 10 wide park. And just like we, you can't lower a park when the market rips low at the end of the day, well, this park could not get raised. We could have gone up $100. It was gonna stay 10 wide at G's high. Uh, pretty good day today, didn't do much. Lost on a small short and end period because I, uh, I didn't think we would do what we did, obviously, but still had a decent day and I did not trade much. Russell, um, Russell, a little disappointing. They do end with a B shape. They had a chance for a trend day down. It doesn't happen. Um, they got within a dollar of their all time high only to sell off over three dollars. So a little disappointing there. Triple Qs, they don't disappoint anybody. They make a new all-time high in regular trading hours. They get their overnight. Now, I'm not sure if N took out M's high. If it did, well, then they have a new all-time high in the overnight. But I'm not sure if that's the case just yet. As far as SPY, NES, we open right at the top of the all-time high again. We took out yesterday's high. I was going to treat yet uh, today as an inside day again until M did what it did. Because we only took out the uh, Friday side by two cents until M obviously decided to just absolutely rip higher. Um, as far as my trades, I didn't take one till B. We took out A's low. I didn't take the short right away. I took it when it came back down and got below uh, A's low again the second time to see what it would do with Pac and M's low. It was the 425 puts. It worked out okay. Uh, again, in C, I did it. Uh, 425 because we were one time framing down. That one was my best trade of the day. I had 40 of them. I was looking for it to pop up just a little more to add 75. It never got to that. If it did, it would have been a very, very nice trade, but it was still my best trade of the day. Um, then in G period, took a long. I'm like, well, we're not getting much, so I'm going to fade new longs, uh, new highs, and new lows. We made a new low. I bought the 421 calls. There was no tempo. That's why I did it to go back to Park. Um, I made on that. And then the only other trade I did was in uh, M, took a small short. I added to it. I said above BD, I'm out, got out, luckily got out, as you can see what transpired here. So <laughs> we also have a poor low today. Amazing. Poor low, and then we rip, rip up uh, almost two and a half dollars. So destinations. There's only one on the upside right now in regular trade now. Is that today's all-time high, 425.37. Uh, I'm not sure what N's high is, but that will be um, the overnight all-time high going into tomorrow morning. For the downside, we go out with a price pro. First destination will be A's high of 424.45. Then we don't have anything to 10 wide, which is G's high of 423.40. And today's low of 423.40. 10. And then on the chart, I'll just show you the weekly and daily. So the weekly, yes, we get away from another previous high. Um, but again, you know, with the Fed Wednesday, we'll see how much more they want to do. Are we going to break away to the upside? Quite possibly. We'll see what happens uh, come Wednesday. Um, and then on the daily, up. Came out of an inside day. Now the inside day up failed miserably until M period. Until M period. Amazing. Now, um, volume. Just under 40 million with the after hours. <laughs> Again, it's still an issue. I know it's only one part of the equation, but for goodness sake, you would like to see more volume supporting each new high. Hope you had a great day trading. Have a great night, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.